Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the hero complex. Excuse me fair maiden whilst I ride in on my trusty steed and save you. <laughs> you probably all know that saying right, but what is the hero complex and why is it a thing? So to uh, understand the hero complex we're going to have to do a deep dive into my history. You'll find anything to do with figuring out about yourself is usually a deep dive into your history, right? So basically, as a young boy, right, my mum was constantly trying to protect me from my dad, okay? She would always point out things that my dad has done wrong, so like put her down and say certain things that were bad. He, he sometimes said some really horrible things. And she would always point out things that my dad had done wrong, right? Now, in my, my mum's mind, right, that was protecting me from my dad and also raising me not to be like my dad. And I guess in some ways I've kept a uh, um, lot of that advice true to uh, me. Like one thing that I'm so actively against is cheating in relationships and that's because my, my dad had several girls on on the go at the same time um so yeah some of the stuff i've actually kept to this day but in actual fact right all that subliminally told me that my mum needed saving right my dad was this big evil man and my poor little bum needed see saving right and at mum my mum, right, is the archetype in which I'm going to see all women, right? As a little boy, my mum is the archetype of which I'm going to see in other girls that I try for a relationship. If you look at boys and girls, they always go for issues. The relationships consists of issues that they need to work through that they hadn't resolved in their family. And usually it's to do with the opposite sex. And men are going to be the same way in which I see my dad, that's going to be my friends and so on. And my mum was this kind of person that saw everything wrong in my dad, but nothing bad in herself. And I'm not entirely sure she ever owned up to anything wrong about herself. I think that was the way it was done in those days. They they tried to not show failure, and um, which is okay in itself, but I, I don't see it as okay. But that's, that's I mean, that's a different story. And mum was sort of this faint and couch feminist where it was like, oh, woe is me, men, men are horrible. And she always saw herself as the poor victim, right? And I guess in a certain way she was, but that's an entirely different story. But then my dad I always saw as this real big, powerful business mogul, in which he was, and there was so much better than me in every way. And through that, I grew up thinking that my friends were better than me in every way, but I had to save women from men. It's a weird dichotomy, right? Nevertheless, because my mum needed saving, the hero complex was born, right? Poor mum needed saving from all the horrible men because men were awful and mum was perfect. And she was just this poor little girl and so I would swoop in to almost every girlfriend that I had or partner that I had and try to save them from whatever problem um, was coming. I think I, I date everyone that I, I think everyone that I dated until my wife um, now, in some fashion, I saw them as <laughs> needing saving um, or I wanted to fix. Fix, saving, it's sort of the same thing really. It's a weird circumstance. On one hand, you see, you put them on this huge pedestal where they're this perfect being, and then on the other hand, you need to help them, you need to save them, and so on. It's really weird dichotomy. And it wasn't until I started working towards my needs that all this fizzled out. Um, I started to read books, I started to understand the way men and women work. I involved myself in projects and businesses that focused on helping men and women meet their needs from a mental health perspective. It was only then that I started meeting my own needs and through that I healed. Now a lot of people will say that absentee fathers 
are the problem here, but actually I I disagree with that. I think you can be a single mum raising a boy and still raise a healthy boy as a single mum. I totally think that you can. It's just avoid dissing other men in front of them. Avoid bad mouthing their fathers. And don't act like women are this dainty thing that needs protecting because they're not. They have wants, feelings, needs, and they're obviously equal to you, so don't pretend that they're not. Single mums are flawed, just like anyone else, but you're strong, right? And you could tackle anything that comes your way. Also maintain hierarchy constantly. One thing that was wrong in my bringing up is sometimes I would be able to raise myself above the hierarchy as in I would be able to control the household. And that's bad because then that makes me feel like I have power and then I'm walking around feeling that, you know, it adds more water to the saviour complex. I'm trying to save my poorly mum. So maintain hierarchy constantly. You're in charge. Keep your relationships out of the conversation or anything deeply personal to you. Your child is not your friend who you dis discuss stories with. You know, your child is someone that you're raising who needs to have their own experiences. Yeah? Let them figure out life for themselves. That's very much the way I wish I had um, been told is just being given a blank canvas and saying, there you go, son, explore, rather than being protected all the time, which is fair. You know, I'm not blaming anyone because our circumstance was quite unique and I could understand why my parent wanted to, or my mum wanted to protect me, but that's, again, a completely different story. And also teach them that women aren't these dainty little things that can't do any wrong. One thing I was never, ever, ever taught as a child is I was never taught the dangers of dating women that don't hold your best interests at heart. I've escaped quite a few um, real near misses in the past um, through women <laughs> that weren't the best mentally. Yeah, and could have landed me in a lot of hot water. So teach your son, and, and obviously teach your son, teach definitely teach your son um, the dangers of that. Yeah, women are not this monolith. There's different women. There's women that are really good, and there's also women with really bad intentions. Yeah, just you have to teach your son that. Okay, that wasn't taught to me, and I wish it was, but. Um, Nevertheless, I hope you've found this video informational. Please, please, please give me a subscribe. Um, and we're talking about all things mental health here. Okay, bye.